Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, children, monkeys of all ages, welcome back to the circus and welcome to my top five budget knives that I have picked up this year. I know some of these aren't going to be necessarily put out this year, but I picked them up this year. So rather than doing the uh, research to find out when they were released, some of them I know, so they're going to be kind of excluded. But all of these knives are still available. They are all still great knives for the value, and all of them are under $60. So where to begin uh yeah there are more than this i just tried to whittle it down to some of my favorites and no more than two of any brand so um let's begin by the fact that we all know i don't really care for d2 in my budget knives in my folding knives i mean regardless of what budget they're in so at an entry level budget like these are um I'm going to, ex I know there's a lot of them in D2, and I know there are some great knives that are in only D2 for a design, but I'm going to exclude all of the D2 knives, even though some of them are amazing values, I have to get this down to at least five. So all of these D2, D2 knives, some amazing knives, like I said. Um... These will all be excluded from my top five just based on the fact that they are D2. Some of them you can get in other steels, but it takes them above $60, so they're excluded from being in this because of that. You can get a Penguin, and as amazing a knife as it is, you can get it in S35VN, 154CM, M390, etc. Great knife, especially in other steels but they're all over $60 in those steels, or I just don't have them. So uh, there, I think there was like a 154 CM that was right around $60. That might make the cut, but then again, it's also been out for a while. So I know this one wasn't released in the past year or so, so it would be excluded on that as well. There is an S35VN version of the... Um, the Kubi uh, de -de 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 Royal, there we go. Um, but it's eighty bucks, eighty to a hundred dollars. So, um, as amazing as these knives are, I am excluding them based on the blade steels. But if you can p pick up, um, if you like D2 and any of these knives appeal to you, there are, are or will be reviews of all of them. So. Um, the Sativian just got uh, this one released earlier, very recently, the CJRB Feldspar, but uh, the Sativian ST133, the, the Rosecraft Mohawk, the CJRB Feldspar, uh, the Boker Caracal, the Penguin, the Kubi Royal just recently, and then uh, this one still needs to go, the uh, Best Tech Operator. But um, not that any of these are bad knives, just uh, excluded because they either don't come in anything but D2 or their D2 versions are over $60. So what do we have left? We have the Rake, we have another Kubi, we have the Riffle, we have one Sin Cut, we have one Beyond DDC, we have what could be any number of damn designs, uh, we have another Beyond DDC, we have another Sin Cut, and we have the Voss Deed Raccoon. So, where to begin? Well, we know the Riffle's been out for a lot longer than a year. In fact, I think I may have had this for more than a year uh, in from uh, Brother Jake over at Jack Song's EDC. <sighs> I am not yet familiar enough with this one to put it in there, but I can tell you that this in Aus 10... Uh, and everything about it says that it's probably going to be a great knife. Thank you, Bobo, for that and the Sativian. 
Um, thank you, Sobex, for the rake. Uh, this is an awesome knife. I need to get this one reviewed, get it recorded. Um, any number of rakes could be in the top five here. So let's uh, let's narrow this down logically. Some that we know are going to make it. So down to these three. Oh man, I think I'm gonna take the uh, Norris over the Saxy. Saxy's a great knife, a little bit more fidgety. Uh, I just really like pretty much everything about the the design of the the on Norris. Um, I think I might even like it even more in something other than wood scales, but uh, it sounds nicer and. Uh, um, I just uh, there's just something that feels a little bit more quality about the uh, Norris to me. Uh, uh, Saxy, great, whoa, <laughs> great value uh, for everything you get for the price. Uh, I'm not gonna deny that, but uh, I just I, I, I kind of take a shine to the uh, Norris. So there we go. Um, $60, $52, $30, $59, and $46. That is uh, my top five folding pocket knives under $60. So there you go. Feet to the fire. Those are going to be my top five. Now, there is one honorable mention because it's not a folding knife. I have come to really, really like this Gerber Prybrid. You can pick these up for 25 to 30 bucks. Um, very handy. Rather than using a knife to pry something, you got that there. Have a replaceable um, utility blade there with a strap cutter, slot, um, bottle opener, etc. Just has proven to be really handy. I need to find a better way to carry it, so I will carry it more often. But. Uh, uh, for 25 to 30 bucks, this is a good tool for most people to find a way to throw in their pocket. But that's it. Uh, these are my top six. Like I said, uh, damn designs could be any of them. I chose the Invictus because that is my favorite of Adrian's designs. The um, Beyond EDC Eurus is absolutely my favorite budget knife from Blade Show and uh, just a, a wicked design from uh, David thank you for that actually I'm going to move it here because I'm going to need as much room as I can get for the other Beyond DC. both of them making the cut because this is 30 bucks man so uh, yeah uh, $30 you can only get this one at Smoky Mountain Knife Works then uh the Anoris, and these are in no particular order. The Anoris, um, wood and a nice acid washed and tumbled 9CR 18 MOV blade. And the Vosteed Raccoon, which uh, if you made me pick a number one, uh, this is going to be it. This is another one I haven't really had a chance to put to the test though, but uh, Everything about how this feels, the sheep's foot, the stonewash, stainless, button lock, it, it just, it just kind of kills it uh, on several levels. So um, those are my top five. If I had to pick a favorite one, it would probably be here. Then as far as the value, um, there's no denying that. Then here, then here than here so one two three four five boom so that's it for now uh until i see you again and i do hope i see you again this is grumpy these are my favorite budget knives these are my top five that's number one that's number five so until i see you again and i do hope i see you again stay well be kind do good that's it this is grumpy i'm out